In this video, we will observe an 18-minute therapy session using the finger labyrinth. The focus of this video is on the use of narrative metaphor therapy as part of this process. What is narrative metaphor therapy, you may ask? Narrative therapy involves the client writing and telling their story, particularly about the current life circumstance for which they've come to therapy. When the client completes the narrative, a word cloud is generated. Note the uh, size of the words in this word cloud. The larger the word indicates the more frequent use one would find it within the narrative that has been written by the client. This word cloud provides a foundation image for the metaphor, which is what the, cl the client will do next. Basically, a, a line, a circle is drawn on a, uh, um, a clean page of paper and the client is asked to draw an image that relates to their current life circumstance. Metaphors are images that emerge from one story and are depicted by the client in this sort of fashion. The client then moves towards the labyrinth walk here after the two uh, projects are completed and will observe the uh, labyrinth walk in this video that emerges in three stages. The entry stage is where the client talks about the problem while walking to the center. The work in the center of the labyrinth has the client visualize the miracle reality or solution to the problem and then the client will draw from a basket an inspirational word that they will use to accompany them on their therapeutic journey. And last, the client will walk out of the labyrinth discussing with the therapist the miracle reality and how to implement that in their life circumstance. The client will capture the miracle image in the mandala upon emerging from the labyrinth. In this role play demonstration, Benjamin Nieves Serrano is the therapist and Gary Salonio will be the client. Okay. Okay. So. All right, uh, Juan, um, thank you so much for, for coming back and uh, working you know, through the um, various homework assignments that I've given you for, um, for our different counseling sessions. Um, just wanted to kind of take a look at the mandala that you created from, from this word cloud and kind of see what you, what you have there. Um, can you kind of uh, describe exactly what's, what's going on here? Well, I think the, where I came from, she was saying, and uh, before. And, uh, you know, this, this place, I, it's, sometimes I'm here and sometimes I'm not here. Mm -hmm. I, sometimes I feel like I want to just run away from it, but I can't because I got all those responsibilities. Okay. Uh, my responsibilities. <clears throat> Are very, you know, and, and what what kind of responsibilities are? Well, I got you know my family. I got to take care of, and you know, you know, my wife. And uh, this, uh, you know, I can't talk that much to her about it because you know it's it's just it's on me, okay. and you know that's what I have to take care of. Okay, so um, what is um, the fear that you may have in, in sharing with your? With your wife, she sees that I'm weak, and that I, you know, we, we made the decision to come, and uh, you know, I left my whole family behind, and my whole family was, you know, we used to do a lot of things together. When we were there, you know, we we have uh, we go to mass, have a big family dinner afterward, we do a lot of things like that, and uh, here it's like we don't have time when the person's working, or right, so. and now you know the language is kind of tough. I kind of feel like you're kind of without a support system. It kind of feels like you're kind of yeah, sometimes, yeah. Okay. So um, I've noticed that um, in in this uh, mandala, you have this big creature um, that mm -hmm. this is depression, how depression looks to you? Yeah, yeah, it's like something overwhelming and yet absorbing me and I can't uh, get my hand on it and it's... Uh, you know, and it, it, it's, it's just taking me in, and I'm trying to run away, get out of it. And, and you named this depression El Chupa Alegria. Can you tell me what that, what that means to you? Chupa is like, you know, the outside creature. Mm -hmm. And the Alegria is the joy that I have. But the, it just surrounds you so much that you can't even express your joy sometimes. 
So um, right now, um, we're going to kind of talk about that. And I want you to kind of put your finger on the, the beginning of the labyrinth. Okay. And we're going to kind of talk about um, El Chupa Alegria and maybe some of the times where, um, where you were able to get some victories, get some empowerment. So um, can you think of a time where, you know, you mentioned that El Chupa Alegria is sucking the life force, mm -hmm. sucking the joy out of your life. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about maybe a time where you were able to overcome the, uh, the tricks or the, the influence of El Chupa Alegria? Mm -hmm. And uh, you can begin by going through the labyrinth that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I, I can remember it was a beautiful day and I felt like I had some time off and we were all together in a park mm -hmm. and we had a nice time and we were just, uh, you know, that was very happy. That was a very happy moment when I was able to do that. Okay. There were all of us and we were so, really enjoying ourselves. Okay. So how did you uh, come to that decision to, to go outside, make that time with your family and, and experience that joy? I think we just, I just had to get out. I had that feeling inside. If I didn't get out, something was going to happen. And if, uh, you know, I, I just don't want, you know, to stay inside all the time. Right. So we went out and uh, we had a good, good day. We walked, we threw, threw a ball around. We, we had fun. Okay. Uh, what? Yeah. Uh, is there a specific sport that, that you uh, enjoyed? Oh, just soccer. Soccer. Yeah. yeah. Is that the is that like the main sport where? Um, yeah, Brazil. Yeah. Brazil. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Not exactly the the most popular sport here. No. no. Okay. Um, well, that was a good day. I, I enjoyed doing that. Yeah. And okay. so that I felt, but then you know you come back and it was the uh, same old stuff all over. So. Okay. So is it something about about the the house that maybe were, is that where depression typically lurks? I didn't think of that. Maybe, maybe it's where I'm living that's not so good. Maybe I don't have know enough people around where I am. Okay. Do you uh, do you live in a you know part of town where um, there are supports or a church that you belong to? Well, we we haven't started that yet. Okay. But maybe that's something that we need to get to do. Right. Is that something that when you were in? Um, Brazil that you... Oh, attended. yeah, it, it was easier, though. You know, it was a smaller town. It was much, much easier. Okay. And then we had activities, we had socials, we did a lot of things like that. That was a lot of fun. Okay. Now, uh, when you um, remind Plus, me... Plus, you know, the family was there. And mm -hmm. Now, when you uh, came, what what made you kind of choose uh, this... this there Where friends? we were, Sao Paulo, you know, it's very poor. Okay. And uh, I, I just felt like if we had the opportunity to get here, I was going to get here. And so I said, we got to go. We've got to make a better life. So, okay. But so it's, it's never easy. I mean, you leave everything you know, and you come here, and then what do you get? You know, uh, I live in one place. I, you know, I, I don't know what my, where I can go. Mm -hmm. yeah, it sounds like that took a lot of courage to, to take that leap, to, you know, do, take such a bold step for your family for uh, a better future. Yeah, it, it, it was not an easy decision, but I'm, I guess I'm glad, you know. It's just what, when you, you do the other stuff, you get everything else now, you know. You worry about your kid, is going to be okay with the language, mm -hmm. you know, is the school going to be okay, you know, everything else. And I look back and I say, well, you know, maybe it would have been easier if I stayed and was this a this decision to move to America? Was this a decision that you made on your own? Were you alone in that decision? Not really. We made it together. Uh, uh, who? You and Maria. Maria, your wife. Yeah. And uh, was um, about family. Were they involved? The rest of your family? They really didn't want us to go. Okay. But uh, you know, I applied and I said yes. We got set in. You know, I worked. Okay. So it's. That's there's, why. There's, That's why. It looks like there was something that you, you saw, something that you were trying to, to work towards. Well, there's better opportunity, you know, for my job and things like that. So I decided that's what I wanted to do. You know, I was a, I'm a cook. Okay. So, you know, and uh, so I, I 
thought I'd be better in the chef, maybe, you know. Okay. So but. cooking, is that something that uh, often provides you with a sense of relief? Do you do it at home as well as work? Oh, we share that. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, you know, it's work. It's mostly work. Okay. But um, is it something that when you're at home, is it something that, that you typically do that, that provides you with, um, uh, you know, because sometimes it can be viewed as an artistic expression? Yeah, yeah, I like to, you know, create sometimes, you know, when, uh, when I feel like it, I guess. Okay. I don't know, when I don't feel like, you know, just the, the isolation or something. Mm-hmm. I will do something every now and then like that, I guess. Okay. Um, tell me about a time maybe in the last week or so that maybe, you know, uh, Chupa Alegria was saying, you know, um, you know, you can't cook, you know, you shouldn't cook, um, and that you were maybe you were able to overcome that? Well, uh, not so much that. It's, it's more like the, uh, you know, I didn't want to get get involved. I didn't want to make new friends. Uh, you know, I don't, you know, I, I just don't know where to go to do that sort of stuff at this point. So, okay. I'm just trying to uh, tell Chupa that, you know, go away. I don't like this, you know, but I guess uh, sometimes it just gets over you. You can't, you can't do it. You just don't want to be alone. So, right. so there's been times where, where you have told uh, Chupa that uh, to go away. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't last long. Okay. Yes. Okay. So at this time, I want you to kind of um, let's work your way to the center. Maybe uh, just enter into the center, and uh, we'll kind of um, you know, talk about maybe a, a new chapter, a new narrative. Where Chuba Alegria doesn't doesn't exist. Maybe see if we can develop some um, alternative storylines or alternative options. Um, so if you want, actually, we actually okay. So um, you know, you remember the time when you know, Chupa Alegria first entered into your life. Um, I want you to imagine that, let's say that you you have the pen in your hands and you're able to write out um, El Chupa Alegria from your life. Um, and you're able to kind of write a new chapter, a new uh, beginning or narrative for, for yourself. Um, how would that look like? What, what would be different? Well, I think I would put the joy first. And then I think I would write uh, looking for the happiness. Okay. Not not so much a financial struggle or a material happiness, just being able to uh, have more time to share. Mm -hmm. And maybe also the getting to know things more around uh, the Mm -hmm. community here. Okay. So, um, you know, it looks like you're still seeking that knowledge, you're still seeking that, um, that ability to maybe be a part of um, this new... Yeah, that's, that's a good, you know, I just don't like this isolation sometimes, and okay. that's when, you know, okay, so the chupa comes, you know. Okay, so it seems like times where you belong or are part of something, kind of like in, um, in Brazil, that's, that's when you're, you're most happy? Yeah, it was a very, it was a very happy place. Okay. So, um, it sounds like um, belonging and being a part of where you're not so much an outsider, that kind of seems to be a narrative that, that you may have. Yeah, that's, that's true. No, that's, I try to make myself, uh, you know, i got to find out a way of getting myself out of this and, uh, in, and more involved with, I guess, others. Okay. And, and it sounds like, um, like you said, spirituality, getting plugged into um, the Catholicism, a Catholic, Catholicism, yeah, you know, uh, a Catholic church that might be uh, an avenue to kind of propel this uh, narrative of belonging. I think that would maybe help us. Okay, that, we, you know, I guess that's maybe one solution I haven't looked at yet. You know, I've been too busy, I guess, since I've been here. But uh, you know, uh, that's something I want to do. 
Okay. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we're going to kind of work our way outside of the lab. But first, I kind of want you to, because we have, um, you know, these depression, we have a chupa allegria. Uh, we kind of maybe want to develop, you know, that, that word for maybe the new narrative, and maybe joy will be it, or maybe, um, maybe there's a word here that may fit. Self-forgiveness. Self-forgiveness. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. So what we what do you think that, that word means to you at 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 this time? What what could what did it kind of speak to you? It seemed like you had a mm. moment where you really oh. Yeah, maybe I I need to just say that it was uh, okay for me to leave. Okay. Yeah, it can be hard to separate yeah. from family. I think that that's Okay. I gotta forgive that part of me that said that you know, um, you know, you shouldn't feel bad about leaving everybody. That you, you can always go back and visit. I guess it's not, it's not uh, necessarily selfish for you to want to maybe write your own narrative. No, no, just to say that yeah, it's okay. You know, you started this, and now uh, let's see where it's going. Okay. Um, have there, have there been times where, you know, Chupa Alegria was not present, but that you were able to um, enjoy and the decision that you made where you had times of... Uh, when we first got here, that was good. You yeah. know, I remember that. Well, we, what we was get, it? You know, just the whole excitement, you know, great place to be. And uh, I guess we, you know, we've got to just try to get out of it and try to reach more of uh, out to other people okay. and uh, I got to find that way. Okay. So it sounds like connecting and being more open and relationships, it sounds like that's something that's mm. seen a, a theme. Yeah, that would make sense to me. That would be, that would be what I, you know, I want to do. And maybe perhaps the, the self-forgiveness that you deserve to have uh, relationships that you deserve to be a uh, part of. I never thought of it that way, but yeah, that's true. You know, if I have self-forgiveness, then I don't worry about, you know, uh, mm -hmm. what I left when I left my parents. Mm -hmm. I have family there, and Marie left all hers, and, you know, but I guess if I go and just say, okay, now what's next? Maybe that would help. All right, so this could be a you know an opportunity for you to kind of restore that maybe excitement. Maybe that's a word that um, you know, the excitement of first starting a new journey, a new chapter. Um, yeah. You know, so what what might that look like? What what ex what exciting things do you think might be in, in the future for you? Well, uh, maybe do some soccer. Okay. You know, that's. Maybe do some so soccer league, games. maybe maybe with school it would be better and maybe start meeting more people. Okay. You know. Okay, what position do you play in soccer? Well, I don't play it, I just like enjoy it. You know? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So um, you know, I feel like you know, we have um, I'm gonna leave this I want you to take that home. And I think you know, this is a a good stopping point. I feel like um, do you feel like we maybe have a lot of maybe new opportunities? Well, what I think in my head right now is, you know, uh, like it's, maybe there's hope for that. Maybe they could start looking and just the forgiveness part. Right. See some of the things that maybe uh, El Chupa Alegria was using to kind of keep you chained. It seems like it grows a little smaller as a preacher. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So it sounds like you have some, some, yeah. Some things that kind of, some weapons, some tools that kind of would be overcome El Chupa well, the, the whole thing about being alone, it's maybe it's not as bad as that. Okay. So, um, have you maybe maybe talked to different people so far since you've... It's not, not a lot. lot. Not a lot. Not but, a lot. Okay. okay. Um, so, so um, at this point, I want you um, to kind of continue to think about the, the work that we did in the middle and kind of that, um, mm. that opposite word of depression. 
uh, whether it's self self forgiveness, um, joy, or excitement, um, and kind of develop a narrative on that, and and kind of see maybe what what just kind of pours out of you, and then we'll kind of um, we'll talk about that the next time, and and we'll see what we we're able to kind of maybe create a, a mandala or an art that's uh, maybe a little bit more positive, and maybe the Maybe the Chupala Rukriya maybe has a different look, or maybe he's not in the picture. Okay, does that sound okay. Sounds good. Okay, well, um, thank you. so uh, thank you, Juan. At the conclusion of the video, I wanted to offer additional resources for those of you that are interested in using the labyrinth in a psychotherapy. I've published two articles with colleagues. Um, the latest was in 2015 on the use of the labyrinth and solution focus therapy with Benjamin Nevis Serrano and Dr. Roshana Chapel. Also, Young Jun Hong and I produced an article on the use of reality therapy with the labyrinth, a strategy for practice. Last spring, we published a YouTube video on the use of the labyrinth and solution focus therapy, and currently are um, working on a manuscript on the use of the labyrinth in narrative metaphor therapy. Also, there will be an additional video that goes in a little more detail about the use of narrative metaphor therapy um, with the labyrinth at a, a later date. We hope you enjoyed the video.